some keynotes before the two short videos um, of the two cases I would share with you. Giant retinal tears, uh, extensive conferentially for more than 90 degrees. Retinal detachments with giant tears are surgical challenging and redetachment rate up to 45%. Um, concerning the surgical, the surgical technique, scleral buckle is a question. Small gauge vitrectomy is uh, what uh, we prefer, uh, actually. Anterior fiber removal is essential, and the diatomy along the posterior edge of the giant retinal tear, and posterior flap unfolding with PFCL, laser retinopexy tamponade with gas or, or oil. The first case I present you is um, um, with a superior and inferior uh, temporal giant retinal tear. We performed 26 gauge vitrectomy uh, and all the steps for this situation. We removed the anterior flap of the tears um, along the posterior edge uh, and did diatomy along the posterior edge of the giant tear. Uh, then we injected PFCL over the optic disc to unfold the, and stabilize the red retina. Uh, two or three rows of endolaser along the posterior edge of the tear, and we performed a, a direct, uh, in the finals, silicone oil heat change, the, mo the most critical step uh, in the surgical repair of the gi giant tears. Um, at the end, we uh, realized that uh, we still um, uh, do, couldn't achieve a complete attachment of the, re the retina. We saw a demarcation line not yet, but um, we, we saw a, a demarcation line at the posterior pole suggesting that either liquid, um, and uh, at the end of the surgery now, um, uh, we, we saw a demarcation line suggesting, su suggesting that either liquid or silicon oil flowed um, under the retina. We decided to end the surgery and concentrate on early, an early and discreet strict positioning of our patient, first in the right lateral decubitus with the flat headboard and soon after in prone positioning. And in the next day, as you can see, uh, the retina was attached and flat with no folding of the tears borders and no demarcation line or subretinal fluid. The second case is another one with the temporal giant uh, retinal tear. In this case, the difference is that we used um, a dye, um, a natural dye with lutein, vitriodine, to stain the vitreous. Um, you can see very, very well the crystals of lutein, and it, it improves our visualization of the vitreous to remove it completely. And then we follow it with all the steps we must uh, do in these is, are essential in these cases. To finish, take, oh, oh, take home message uh, in this uh, experience in, in two cases. Giant, giant retinal tears mandate prompt vit vitrectomy pr to prevent PVR. If PVR occurs after a giant retinal tear, consider the use of a buckle. Leave the crystalline lens intact if no cataract or no anterior PVR. The anterior flap of the tear must be removed to prevent PVR, and laser retinopexy along the posterior edge of the tear is critical in these cases. Normally, long-acting uh, uh, gas tamponade, silicon oil tamponade if presence of PVR, inferior giant retinal tear, air travel in the next two months, inability to position full-time for one week, direct perfluoral octane silicon oil exchange is the key to avoid posterior retinal slippage. Seven days of postoperative head positioning is recommended for most cases. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, Matteo, what's your preferred technique if you have giant retinal tears, or maybe even two? Yeah, usually, uh, I agree, but us usually we use uh, silicone oil uh, in every case of giant retinal tear. In all the cases? All cases. Yes. Maybe we have fear of... Uh, uh, yes. yeah, I mean, uh, we never tried with gas, but probably we should uh, for a superior... No, I had no, I had no time. But when I, 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 I in, in the first case, I tried to to change with hair, and I had a split slippage. So I, 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 I changed my mind, and I, I, I went to uh, direct 
PFCL silicon oil exchange. I agree with you, but sometimes some hotters and, and myself, if we have uh, uh, just a superior uh, giant retinal tear, perhaps in that, in that case, is, uh, the gas is a is, 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 uh, best choice. Yeah, yeah. I so, agree, because yeah. usually we, we, we go through hair, and we had the case of superior giant retinal tear. With the air, it was everything okay. So actually, we could uh, put gas, but we, we said maybe, I don't know, <laughs> complications. So we put silicon oil for fear. But it's the ongoing discussion. Are we treating the retina or treating the fear of the surgeon? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>